सतगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवोहम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरुमूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपद मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवोहम वी आर टेकिंग द सेवनटीन स्टेंजा ऑफ चैप्टर टेन इन दिस स्टेंजा द अर्जुन इज आस्किंग अबाउट द चिंतन ऑफ भगवत भगवान सदगुरु श्री कृष्ण हाउ टू चिंतन कथम विद्याम योगी स्थता सदा परिचित केशु केशु च भावेशु चिंतो असी भगवन कथम विद्याम अहम योगिन तवाम सदा परिचित केशु केशु च भावेशु चिंत्य असी भगवन योगिन इट मींस ओ सुप्रीम गॉड ऑफ योगी योगीज अहम इट मींस आई कथम यानी हाउ सद, सदा इट मींस ऑल द टाइम परिचित इट मींस by the sakshi the the sakshi of chitta and we can see the function of the chitta it is parichintan tvam it means to you vidyam it means uh, we will know cha it means and bhagwan it means the supreme god केशु केशु विच विच वावेशु इट मींस द इमोशनल स्टेजेस माया इट मींस फ्रॉम मी चिंतया इट मींस बी स्टैंड इन अवेयरनेस अपि इट मींस इज फेस सॉरी इज और आर माय Yogeshwar, the God of the yogi, all yogis, my supreme God, Bhagwan. In which way, I we in the witness and uh, only see of my chitta mood and uh, and uh, be separate. from them bhagwan in which in which which emotional stage you can be able to know by the awareness stages my dear friends it is too hard to describe in english and the meaningful stanza of the bhagavad gita uh you know that uh, when a child is speak the mother can understand what the child is telling as when the master is speak the disciple can understand because the language is only medium to express your thoughts so please uh, give me the pardon if i have many many grammatical mistake in my discourses because i know it i know it but you only to try to understand that what i i am trying to telling you so here the arjun is uh, telling to krishna that uh, my dear sadguru you are the yogeshwara 
Yogeshwara means uh, the supreme god of yogis and yoga it means not the physical exercise and as you seen on the yoga divasa divas that is not yoga that is a very small part of yoga that is called asana and pranayam but the yoga has its eight stages and there is only two stages persons can do because of the further stages of the yoga they are very micro and they are very uh, they do cannot be performed by the body so the bhagwan is yogeshwara because the bhagwan is the supreme authority of the world he is ex the bhagwan is existence and when a living being when a jeev join to to the bhagwan at that time we say that he is the addition the addition is complete with bhagwan so that is called yoga that is the miraculous yoga nobody knows about this yoga so in the sense of this respect arjun is telling to his master yogeshwara it means the god of the yoga which yoga when a person get enlightenment when a person know the atma sakshatkar when a person know his real identity invisible of all senses mind intellect mood and chitta so my dear friend arjun is telling in the next word arjun is telling yogeshwara katham vidhyama how can i know you because you are not involved in the maya you are not involved in the physical body material light everything which can we know by the sensory organs the god is separate from them and even you are beyond the thoughts so nobody can nobody can think about you even and you are beyond the intellect so nobody can know you by the cleverness of intellect and you are beyond the chitta beyond the mood so nobody can chintan nobody can chintan about the god so arjun is very very uh, arjun is uh, <coughs> uh, in dilemma he is asking how can i know you because you are beyond all these things you are separate of from all these things so arjun is asking direct to the krishna how can i go beyond the chitta how can i go beyond the antakarna no and how can no your abstract absolute existence and which uh, which which the bhavas which which the uh, emotional and loving conditions the loving stages how can love you with my whole heart and uh, which is the supreme uh, stays of the heart loving heart or the emotional uh, touch with you please say about it it is a very simple question but this question is not only for arjuna this question for all persons not only arjuna so my dear friend even this is a short bun question bunch but it is very important to the seekers because arjun is telling a symbolic words about god yogeshwar is symbolic word i describe you who is yogeshwar yogeshwar is the supreme authority for which the all yogis do the ashtanga yoga and yogeshwar yoga is the addition with the god yoga it means atma sakshat and second word arjun is telling bhagwan 
Bhagwan is also very meaning, meaningful word. Bhagwan is the loving word with the master, Sadguru, and with the God also. And that is, he is telling Parichintyan. Parichintyan is also very important and very meaningful word. Because the Chintan is thinking. The flow of thinking is called Chintan. Continuous flow of thinking is called the Chintan. But Parichintan, when we stand beyond the Chintan, beyond the flow of thinking, we stand outside of thinking. That is called Parichintan. That is called the Sakshi. And he is asking Keshu Keshu Chabhavishu, uh, how I aware when the different type of the sentiments come in my mind and heart. This mind and heart make me unstable and so I do not stand concretely in the Sakshi. So please tell me ke how I stand in the Sakshi and how I know you with this Sakshi Sadhana and which is the right manner to which is the right manner to separate from the stream of the thoughts. My dear friend, I think it is the appropriate and short discourse about this question because question cannot be described more and more. Answer can, can be described but question cannot be described more and more. Shivoham and I request you these videos we are putting on YouTube please subscribe and uh, on 1 August 2015 uh, there was a meditation camp in Delhi there I will be live with uh, I will be stay with one day uh, morning to evening with the seekers if you are seeker you are mostly welcome in that meditation camp. Thank you very much.